What is your name? Chandler. And Chandler, what pronouns do you, you go by? Uh, I use he, him, his, and they, them, their pronouns. Uh, many of my close friends use they, them, their pronouns for me because that's what I've been using the longest. Um, but mostly when people meet me for the first time, they use he, him, his pronouns for me. And a lot of people that I work with use he, him, his pronouns. And so I'd say I'd probably use he, him, his pronouns more often. If I ask the question, do you lean one more one way or the other? Does, is that a question that might affect you negatively? Like, does, does that, does that like make you feel like I'm trying to put you into a box or something? I do a lot of organizing with other trans people and I see a lot, I see that question a lot. And most times the answer is like some version of, eh, like yeah. I told you both, so both are fine. Like yeah. if I want, people often are like, okay, but what's the right one? Like I want to do the right thing. Yeah. And it's like, if, if I told you both, then both are right. If I told you one, then that one's right. Yes. And it's sort of, people like want more and I'm not, I don't, it's not that it affects me negatively, but it seems like a little bit of a misguided, like a want, a desire to be the most accurate. And most of the time, at least for me, when I get that question, it's sort of like, right. And most of the time when I see other people who also use multiple sets of pronouns get that question, or there are some people who say any pronoun is fine or any pronoun except this pronoun. Uh, something that I have found is it helps if people can kind of put themselves into a situation to understand what you might feel if someone either correct correctly or incorrectly genders you. Can you think of an example and explain the way that you felt one way or the other? Yeah, I mean, I think some of the most positive experiences of being gendered correctly have been not about that person guessing correctly about my gender and using pronouns correctly because they sort of figured it out, but more about them uh, seeing my transness and wanting to respect it in whatever way I wanted to um, articulate it. So one really positive memory comes from, I was working on a show and so I was at the first meeting and everybody was introducing themselves to each other in this theater lobby and people were sort of milling around and I saw this person who I'd never met before. Um, from across the room who I later found out she's a cisgender woman and that's probably what I would have assumed that she was if I were to guess at the time and she sort of saw me uh, and looked at me um, in a way that wasn't like a like looking over way but like I, I saw her like look at me and then make eye contact with me and come and come up to me and I was sort of starting to feel, I, it was when I was kind of first coming out and I was still pretty unsure of myself and had a hard time constantly articulating my pronouns to new people and standing up for myself um, was pretty hard at that point. It's still hard, but um, so I was starting to like feel nervous and anxious uh, and my heart rate was up. And then she came up to me and she said, hi, I'm Jane and I use she, her, her pronouns and sort of left that space open for me. Um, and then I was able to say, oh, I'm Chandler. I use they, them, their pronouns. And that was able to like, she got the information that she needed because she, she saw something in me. She was like, this person, this person looks pretty trans, which I do. So that was great. <laughs> um, and she was able to like, give me the space to articulate myself and not make assumptions about me in a way that didn't feel like she was calling me out or like calling attention to me. So that was a really positive experience. Um, so an example of how it feels to be misgendered, it's, um, it, I think a lot of cis people assume that when they're, that when they misgender you, it's sort of about them making a mistake, um, or like insulting you or, or, or making a flub or like a verbal gaffe or something like that. Um, and that's how I think a lot of cis people think about misgendering is like, oh, I said the wrong thing. I said the wrong word. And for me, at least, how it feels is like not really about that. It's about what they saw and what that means about what they really saw. And so it feels to me when someone misgenders me, it feels like they have seen and then pointed out for the entire room the thing that I'm most self-conscious about in the world. Um, it feels like the, whatever is the thing that you really would like to hide and not present to the world, it's that being just blasted out, um, and made public. So that's kind of what it feels like. And it feels like I can't, I can't necessarily trust the other things that they say, that they, they say that they do respect my gender and that they do, 
um, care about my gender, but it, it's 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 not that I can't trust their intentions. It's that I can't trust that that's that they don't really if they are consistently, especially if they especially if they're consistently using she her hers pronouns for me, it that tells me that that's how they see me and that they are trying to like train themselves to say a different thing, but they're not training themselves to see me correctly. Um, they're just trying to change the words instead of changing how they actually see me. How do you feel your gender identity compares and relates to societal norms and understandings? My gender identity, whether it's in at odds with societal norms or in sync with societal norms, there's always, I'm always interacting with them. I can't, nobody can be free of societal norms of gender. Um, and I definitely feel that in my life. And it affects the way that I present my gender. It's the way that I want to be seen in the world is the way that I present my gender. Um, and it's really difficult, if not impossible, to extricate my like truest desires from that. Because my truest desires are to be seen as who I am. Um, and so when I think about how I present my gender to the world, whether it's through uh, pronouns or through anything that I do or, or wear or say, um, it's about presenting the gender that I want to be seen as. And I think everyone does that, you know, not just trans people, but, um, and not just people who are more genderqueer or whatever, but uh, yeah, I think that's a kind of a universal thing, but it's not something you think about as much if you're not constantly interacting with the way that society is reading you. I would like to say that it's about being yourself no matter what, but I think that's it's always more complicated than that because you can't you can't know what your where your drives are coming from always. You can't know what society what what is coming really from you and what is coming from how society has taught you right. and people of the gender that you identify with behave. Any, anybody might choose what they wear based on wanting to seem more professional right. or wanting to seem more casual or whatever. Um, or wanting to give a clue about your politics. Like people, people dress the way that they do yeah. because they want people to know what kind of person they are in the world. Yeah. And in what ways do you express your gender? And in what ways do others validate a proper understanding of your gender? I express my gender through, um, well, I think all the, all the typical ways that people express their genders um, through the way that I like, the, the way that I decorate my home and the way that I pick what I like to wear and um, communicate, yeah, communicate on my person to the world. Um, I also express my gender through the things that, like the hobbies that I have, which is a sort of a fraught and overly complicated um, relationship for a lot of trans people, I think myself included, in that when I was, before I figured out that I was trans, I had a lot of, I was overcompensating for that, um, and I had a lot of sort of misogyny related to like not wanting to associate with anything that I deemed feminine because I thought that being feminine was worse than being masculine because I didn't I didn't have my gender figured out, and so that like tension and that dislike of anything feminine in me was externalized, and so I didn't for many years and. My adolescence, I had a back and forth relationship with anything feminine, which I say feminine, but it's like anything that I or society had arbitrarily deemed to be feminine, um, I like wouldn't associate with, or I would say, okay, now it's time for me to get back on track and be more like a normal girl and like do these things that are more normal. And so I had this back and forth. Um, and so a more genuine way of me expressing my gender is letting go of that and sh trying to shed that and um, be more comfortable in my body and be more aligned with my body and feel present uh, and embodied in space in a way that allows me to move more naturally and not be constantly interrogating and saying like, no, I can't do that. I can't do that because people are going to misgender me and think I'm a girl if I do that and I can't do that and I can't do that and I can't do that. And letting go of that is about, is how I am currently trying to express my gender. What do pronouns and their correct and incorrect usage signify to you? Seeing 
uh, when someone uses my pronouns correctly, I feel like they saw me. They actually saw me. Um, when somebody uses my pronouns incorrectly, it feels like they're seeing like a distorted photograph of me in a different room. Like I feel like, how can we even be in the same room if you see me and see that? Like you obviously have no idea who I am um, if you're that confused. Um, so yeah, being the correct usage of pronouns means being acknowledged. It doesn't even necessarily mean being respected. Although that is a part of it, and like someone I know learning to use my correct pronouns is like a way that I see them respecting me and working on themselves in order to like validate and know what's important to me and that it's it's important. If you if you care about me, you need to use my correct pronouns. And so that is an aspect of respect, but I think at the basic level it just means being seen. It means taking some time by yourself and like honestly what I've done when I've had friends who've come out um, as trans and wanted to use different pronouns after years of knowing them, I've like written out their name and pronouns in sentences over and over again for like 10 minutes. And I've had conversations about them with people who didn't know them where I practiced using their pronouns. It's like not making it about them. Like I don't want them to have to deal with me trying and failing. I'm going to try and fail on my own. Um, and then so that when I'm interacting with them, I am able to like be correct as much as, as much of the time as possible and do a better job because I've taken the work on my own. And it's really it's really not that hard.